Hi, uh, I'm Rob Dreyer, and I was asked by the Endangered Wolf Center to, to explain a little bit about my painting, uh, The Return of the Red Wolf. Uh, it's the painting that we did uh, specifically to raise funds to uh, assist education and recovery efforts for the, the Red Wolf. Um, the setting is really the main thing I really want to talk about. Uh, the painting really, as I was kind of conceiving it, uh, is really kind of the dream. It's like, okay, well, so what's the end, end, end game? And uh, as you may or may not know, there's only uh, roughly 50 red wolves left in the wild. They used to range throughout the southeast United States, uh, all the way over to um, Arkansas, West Texas, or East Texas, rather. Um, my thought, because I'm a Missouri boy and I love the Ozark Mountains, I've been down there quite a bit, uh, I also really love the Smoky Mountains, was to kind of imagine a, a, a time where I could be hiking, uh, backpacking through some of these uh, rather remote areas, and see, just catch a glimpse of a balanced population of red wolves living in harmony with their previous uh, native habitat. And I say balanced, you know, of course, balanced in our modern world with, with people and and so on and so forth, but it's it's really quite doable. Uh, and so I thought, well, let's just start with the end first. Let's try to dream that dream, put a depiction of that dream. Uh, and as you can see, I kind of gave some hints as to where it is. I used the rhododendrons uh, and of course the mountain streams. This could be anywhere in Arkansas, Tennessee, uh, North Carolina, anywhere in that sort of those southern mountain states, but again, relatively remote areas. And they're rather shy and elusive creatures, um, uh, considerably smaller than their western and northern cousins. And um, they're just minding their business, moving their way through, living their life. You know, the other question I get a lot, and just about any question, any painting I do, is how long does it take to do something like this? And my answer is typically uh, 30 to 40 uh, hours. Of course, those are in two hour increments. This particular painting took a little bit longer than that um, because I struggled a little bit in terms of getting my background and getting the woods to look like the woods and getting that ambient lighting uh, in sort of an early morning um, type of environment. Um, anyway, I hope you find that informative or interesting. I don't know. Uh, but what I do hope is that you can help out with the campaign this year. We're going to keep that page open and the commemorative posters available until the end of the year. Uh, we're about 80% to our goal, and if you can help us get that extra 20%, that'd be terrific. Thank you very much.